A lot of visitors to the Indiana basketball facilities over the last few days, guys. Uh, Caleb Banks, a Rivals 150 wing, one of the biggest yesterday, uh, was in there. They had Jeremy Fears over the weekend and another one that I failed to write down. But uh, three visitors this weekend, that's, that's a lot of activity. I got a question. Uh, Jim, and, and Jim Reber, you may know this. Uh, Jim, you may know this as well. Quote, when did they start doing the put on the uniform, take pictures thing? When did that – I mean, give me the – they changed the rules a few years ago about how you could handle these types of visits. And a lot of it is, I don't know what prompted it, but it just became when they got about the time they got rid of, they, when they loosened up the social media rules and the, the community, the texting rules and things like that, they went well, ahead and just basically, I think basically there, there was no rule against it. So there was now that you had this Avenue to produce content with kids in there um, or produce content for kids, the kids could send it out and then the colleges can retweet it or like it. I think they, I think they're allowed to like things, but not retweet things. But now they've got this Avenue for content that obviously promotes the program as much as it does promote the kid. Yeah. That's when you started seeing it. I don't know if there's any, any language allowing it or, or controlling it or, you know, or restricting how it's done. But that's about the time it changed is when the NCAA gave college coaches more freedom on social media. I don't like it. Well, I, don't, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. And I'll tell you what. I, don't, I don't like it. I, I think they could only should only be able to use those photos <laughs> if the kid commits. Because cool, yeah. there's no way I want to see a kid on my team that's in a damn Michigan jersey or a Purdue jersey or some other. If there's photos, I don't want photos of that. Ever. Amen. I don't want ever photos of that. Uh, and I know it's a get off my yard, take, old man take, right, but right, I hate right. it. I can't stand it. Um, God, quick, it drives me nuts. A quick 45 second story. I remember when I was getting recruited, how that was handled. It was actually someone doing quote unquote Photoshop, even though that was not the name, of putting your picture in an article and like you all won a national championship and you're. And, you know, you got quotes and they're sending stuff to you like that. You know, that was only between you and that school. Right. I mean, I mean, again, it's, you know, I can I can I guess I can be a hater in this case. I don't understand. I just don't understand it. Like to take a picture and you're not going to that school, but you just want to photo up and put on Twitter. But So uh, call me old guy. I don't know. I, I, oh, I, I, I'll tell you right now. Don't ask. I, and I haven't even asked him this, but I promise you. The person to absolutely not ask about this would be Todd Leary. Uh, yeah, I guarantee you, he would just yeah. go off on something. Like I might, that. and I get it. I hate yeah. it. I might be with Todd on this one. I know Todd can go pretty good and get on his rants. Todd can go. I love Todd, but I might be with Todd on this one. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hate that. I don't I mind it. it. I don't mind it, but I'm also a Photoshop guy that you know I use Photoshop <laughs> on a daily basis. I've yeah. created some of these things uh, and, just as as fan I mean, art for your guys. I get that. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean even from the IU perspective, I did okay. something for Miller's first class, um, mm. and I was asked if I could do something like that, and and I did, okay, and so yeah. I put all the guys that he had, and it, but it goes to what Jim was saying. These were kids that were already committed, committed. Um, right. But the, the kids like the edits. The kid like the kids yeah. like these. Obviously, they like the highlight videos. Yeah. Um, I. I take I shoot pictures during school games during the school season mostly for the mm -hmm. for my website, right. But then also these are things that I use later, but mm -hmm. I also tend to only use photos on our website or try to only use photos on our website when they're in their school uniforms, not with right. the summer stuff. Understood. So that way I'm not accused of promoting one program over another, or in this right. case promoting my program over another. Mm -hmm. I just use their school team stuff as, as much as possible. Um, or if I can't, then I just basically it ends up being a headshot rather, you know, an upper body and an action shot. But but as far as the edit stuff go, yeah, I can I, I think it's I look at it from a talent perspective. I look at what each school, how they handle it yeah. and and whether or not like right now, whoever's doing IU stuff is pretty good. You know, he's got a pretty okay, good feel for what looks good. good. I, mean, I, I look at it from that. 
<laughs> yeah, I look at it from that perspective. <laughs> the well, they got the that's a professional. Yeah, they got professional people in there. They have their own departments doing all that stuff. Right. It's it's a, right, it's right, corporate. Right. It, it's corporate level. Yeah. Cause that's why, um, that's part of what I do. That for a part of my living is doing some branding stuff and some social media stuff for, no for companies up here no in question. Indianapolis. And yeah, yeah, and yeah, no, that's yeah, a lot of what I do. Also about the players, like why, like where did this come from? I mean, and, and no big deal, but it's just. I, guess I don't I know who started it. I, I do not know who was the first to do it, but yeah. well, I'm sure a bunch of people probably started doing it as soon as the rule changed. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. Yeah. So that but. and that's the timing of it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how um, <laughs> when it started. I just know. I think that's about the same. The same. Yeah, drives me insane. Though that same thing happened, and you guys may know the story about Steph Curry and Nike on his on his presentation video. Uh, when he went to go visit Nike's headquarters, they misspelled his first name. Oh, really? Yeah, that's, that's kind of supposedly one of the reasons he didn't sign with them. Oh, you're reading the the, the chat thing. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. misspelled official on the football recruits material. On who? Kentucky who was fans. that? So evidently, the, if Tim Tabalt, whoever that is on the the uh, yeah the who's, chat who, who, thing, it who said was he talking about it was from Popeye Louisville William. Go ahead, John. How I'm do, sorry. How do you misspell Popeye, Popeye Williams? Williams. No, they didn't misspell Popeye Williams. They misspelled official. It was Ofa Cow is how they spelled it. Oh, that's, that's a good name. Ofa Cow. Ofa Cow. That's a good name to call official. Ofa Cow. Thank you, John. Who called Ofa Cow? Oh, man. <laughs>